So with the upcoming exciting new Cybertruck release from Tesla, uh, there's been a lot of talk about the design, the specs, and what I really want to focus in is the design and looking at some of the sources of likely inspiration for that design so that we can get a better idea of what to expect. Now, at this point, we know that Tesla has just provided this render for us along with another teaser image and Elon Musk has confirmed that this is indeed the front of the car. So this is called the Cybertruck and we know that it's been influenced, uh, inspired by the 80s sci-fi film Blade Runner. It's a cyberpunk film <coughs> and uh, there is a chief designer named Sid Mead and he did all of the design for uh, this film, including the vehicles. And that's that's really interesting because uh, Sid Mead is a futurist. So he designed uh, homes, cars, all sorts of things from the future. Uh, he continues to do so. Uh, so we've got a little bit of his work here. And like I said, he did the vehicles for Blade Runner. So it's really interesting as we look at these vehicles, I think we can get some inspiration for what the Cybertruck will, like, will look like, and even more so as we look at some of Sid Mead's designs that were not in the Blade Runner film. So what really characterize his designs are uh, low to the ground, flattish, elongated, aerodynamic vehicles. Um, well, with the city bus uh, being the exception, I guess. And what these designs lead me to believe is that the pickup truck is not going to be anywhere near the traditional pickup truck look. And Elon Musk has said that, but I think a lot of people have forgotten that as they make their rendering. So, Again, we have this elongated, very aerodynamic look. We see it again here, again here, and we also notice um, this distinct windshield design. So it's wide at the bottom, tapering up towards the top, narrow at the top. Remember that shape. We see it again here, and I believe that we're looking at a nearly identical shape maybe not so much taper up top but this uh cyber truck i think is borrowing a lot from this vehicle to begin with uh elon musk also said that it's going to be uh look like an armored armored personnel carrier this is an armored personnel carrier and you'll notice that uh it's relatively uh, the body itself, obviously this is lifted up, but the body itself is relatively uh, thin compared to the overall length. So it's a, it's a squat, pancakey sort of vehicle. This is an armored personnel carrier that was actually designed by Sid Mead himself. And so this is something that I think is amazing. We've had Elon Musk tell us that this vehicle is going to be uh, inspired from this movie. Uh... Blade Runner and the designer himself from the movie designed an armored personnel carrier for this movie and no, no one's talking about this so again we see this squat uh, pancake look nevertheless this is a vehicle that's robust um, it can function as a truck and I think that's going to be important because the cyber truck uh, needs to be efficient it also needs to be able to perform, like Elon Musk has said, like a Porsche 911 and like a pickup truck. And when you start getting into this squat design, I think that's when you start to be able to see both of those capabilities. So once more, and again, it, it blows my mind, no one's talking about this. Um, Sid Mead designed a pickup truck for Ford in the 60s. So uh, this is the... I would say the designer that is arguably the inspiration for the Cybertruck. And so we see a squat El Camino-like truck, very aerodynamic, uh, you know, a, a pretty decent slope 
here on the front of the windshield. Um, as we look at this truck, <laughs> here's a, a prototype. Again, we have an elongated squat look. And here's our hot 60s model. Um, this car has got Lamborghini type doors, except it's more than that. They open up entirely. Um, so what we really see is the entire front of the car popping up and opening. And in this, uh, this design by uh, Mead, we see that uh, we've got almost like a, a front hatch here. And um, I've, we've heard a little bit of that bouncing around the internet that there could be a sort of fratch front hatch and I actually think that that's the case. I think that we're going to see the front of the pickup truck opening up in this manner and that's going to allow it to be uh, both low and squat and to have a lot of functionality. Again here's more of Sid Meat's designs. We see this sort of opening hatch uh, and in this case on you know what looks to be a futuristic truck. This picture, I think, is incredibly telling. Here is, we, we've got essentially, I mean, the, this looks to be, you know, some sort of consumer vehicle. We've got another one over here. But th this is basically a, uh, a armored personnel carrier designed by Sid Mead. So we've got this front look right here. And, you know, just coming over here, again, this shape tapering up as we go up towards the top here and I think you're looking at right here the the overall shape of the pickup truck and again when you when you look at this right here we've got someone popping this up to walk in I, I think we're going to see some sort of entry like that um, nothing super complicated and, and automated like the the uh, Tesla Model X but uh, a really um, unconventional mode of entry that's going to allow for a very squat vehicle. So this is the other te teaser image, or that image that we have seen, and I think that right here, in the first image, this light right here is this light here. In this image, we can see that uh, it looks completely flat. It looks completely uh, flat, and I think that's because even though it's bent here, we're just looking at it straight across uh, horizontally. So, again, I, I think that this vehicle is, you know, rather squat and pancakey because if this uh, is, is mostly level as we see it now, and this is the windshield, then that means we have a windshield that just, just slopes up right here. Not very much, as opposed to a tradi traditional truck that's going to slope up quite a bit. So. Uh, and again, coming back to the benefits of this, this is a render that Tesla put out, kind of a silly teaser. I don't think the pickup will look anything like this. But when we have this massive uh, windshield right here and, and all of this height above the bed, um, and again, here on what I think is a Ford or a Chevy, we've got a pretty high roof line, drops under a bed. This design is not very aerodynamic. This the closer you get to this, this is incredibly aerodynamic. So, and this is where we can get into some renderings that I think incorporate this these these designs. So, we've got the sloping up front hatch. Well, what I think will be a front hatch, and um, overall just a squat vehicle. Um, and this is going to be aerodynamic. Again, this I think is an incredibly close design. I, uh, we see this uh, sloping up and, and tapering windshield that's very long. I kind of wonder if whoever did this was, was inspired specifically by Blade Runner by Sid Mead because you look at this car and um, the resemblance to those vehicles from Blade Runner that we looked at earlier is, is uh, substantial. Um, I think uh, that we will see what's described here, which is the air suspension. Elon Musk talked about this. This talks about 22-inch clearance. I think that's crazy. But I, I think what we will see is the ability for this car to be down very low, and uh, but to be able to get up high with the air suspension for off-road. I think we'll see 
significant ground clearance. And that's because of this teaser image right here. Someone, uh, you know, uh, analyzed the picture, brightened it up, and, and we can see exposed here almost half of a tire. Uh, that's not very common, even on an SUV, to to be able to... And, and again, this is a squat vehicle, so take this with a grain of salt. But, um, and we're looking at it from a, a low angle. But you've got all this tire exposed. I, I think that when the air suspension's up, we're looking at 10 plus, uh, I mean, 8 to 10 plus inches of clearance, which is in line or exceeding what we have with the uh, F-150, except when we go into this squat mode, we can see that Porsche 911 performance. So... Um, this is obviously raised up super high. I think this was an Audi prototype or, or concept, but when we see this this uh, sloped windshield, this uh, kind of cockpit, maybe even a little bit reclined, I think this is what we're looking at right here, but with a bed, obviously. So this uh, logo was recently trademarked by Tesla. Some people put it, you know, switched it around, uh, made it look like a truck, I, and I think you know, whether this was intentional or not, I think this is, uh, I think this is somewhat representative of what the design will look like. Um, and this, this would be in the raised up mode. You got quite a bit of clearance right here, but again, you got a, a squat cab. And like I said, m maybe having this fratch, this front opening sort of entry, uh, that would be just really unconventional. And, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, I attempted to do a little rendering and build off of the, the teaser, and this is what I came up with. So, yeah, I think I'll just uh, keep working on that. So, uh, thanks for being with me. If you liked it, uh, give it a like, give it a comment, and uh, I just, I'm enjoying being part of the Tesla community as we anticipate this exciting release. Take care. This is uh, Mark Brand, and we'll see you later.